The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Oh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Don't go ahead and say, Who shall I, shall I feel? We didn't plan this, but can y'all sing it with me? Oh, who shall I, one more time, shall I feel? Last time. Can you clap your hands like this? Go put your hands together. Is he really your light and your salvation? Come on, make some noise in the building tonight. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Can you hear me say it? The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. And my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Can we take it out right here? See, I will not fear anything. No. Come on, y'all got it.
want to see your light tonight. The light just means he's your God. Is he your salvation tonight? That means he'll save you in any situation. I said, is he the Lord? Is he the light of your life? Oh, everybody clap your hands. Come on. Yeah.
anybody love the Lord tonight? Does anybody really love the Lord tonight? Come on, put your hands together right here.
don't move you, I don't know what will. That's not a thing too hard. Not a thing too hard. No, no, nothing. Cancer? No, no, nothing. Diabetes? No, no, nothing. And listen, we come to serve the devil. Notice tonight. There is nothing.
praise him like that because we'll be here all night. You better go ahead. Can we get for 30 more seconds? Y'all better praise him right here. Through sickness, he got me. Through hard times, he got me. Didn't have money in a bank account, but he kept me. feel Jesus in this place. I don't think I'm by myself, but by the signifying of your hands, if you know what it feels like to feel Jesus, give him a wave offering all over this place. King of the wild. Judges 16 and 28 says, and Samson called unto the Lord. And he said, oh Lord God, remember me. I pray thee and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once. The story of Samson, the strongest man that ever lived, was a story that has always fascinated me. Every time as a little girl growing up in church, I heard about the story of Samson. He was portrayed as a foolish man, yes? A womanizer, yes. Someone who had ignorantly laid his head in the lap of the enemy. They called it a compromising situation. Ah, don't tell on yourself, but have you ever been in a compromising situation? And it wasn't your haters, it wasn't your enemies, it was you yourself and you that got you in that situation. Nate Martin and Sign call it a wild situation. Well, the Philistines were the major enemy force to the Israelites at that time. They were a constant threat to Israel. The Philistines lived west side of the Canaan along the Mediterranean sea coast. They, they were fierce warriors. And if you've ever heard of being skinned alive, that came from the way they would torture their enemies and literally skin them alive. They had an advantage over Israel in numbers. They had an advantage over Israel in technology. They had an advantage over Israel in tactical expertise. And for the second time in his life, Samson falls in love with the enemy. This time her name is Delilah. Somebody say wild situation. 
And we say that because Samson is portrayed as someone who's foolish. He's a womanizer. He has issues. But the Lord laid it on my heart one time. He said, why don't you do a study into the life of Samson? Because sometimes when you have issues, it makes you do some wild and crazy things. Samson was betrayed. Samson was angered. He was rejected. He was misunderstood. He was insulted. He was widowed by the way of murder. He was devastated, physically attacked, mentally tortured. He was emotionally triggered. He was arrested. He was double-crossed by his own people. He was abandoned by his kinfolk and ultimately deceived by the woman that As the story goes, she shares that with the Philistines. This is his secret to where his strength lies. You know the story. They capture Samson. The Bible says they gouge out his eyes. They take him into captivity. And there Samson sits. A judge called by God, but there Samson sits. A non-traditional judge, but there Samson sits, bald, blinded, and imprisoned. Wild is known to us as uncultivated, that which is untamed, that which is savage, and that which is uncouth. But God gave me an acronym for wild. He said wild is what I learned about destiny. Have you ever been through anything and you learned something from the lesson? I'm talking to the thermostat praisers in here that don't need anybody to give you an amen. You're your own amen corner and you can stand up and say, I learned something about my destiny. It wasn't just wild for the sake of being wild. It wasn't just crazy for the sake of being crazy. It wasn't a ghetto situation for the sake of being a ghetto situation. But my destiny was being tried by the master. And God began to speak. He said, destiny cannot be stopped. This recording could not be stopped. It was five years in the making. What God has promised you cannot be stopped. God told me to tell somebody today that although you gave away the secret and you were temporarily stripped of your anointing, just like hair grows a half a millimeter every day, even in the cell, even in prison, even shackled, even blinded, his strength was growing minute by minute. Second by second, hour by hour, God was renewing his destiny. It's a wild situation. But what did I learn about destiny? Even when I am bald, my strength is being renewed. So I can say I will look to the hills. But it's cometh my help, not some of my help, not a tithe of my help, but all of my help comes from the Lord. And so the Lord is saying to someone today, what did I learn about destiny? That hair is going to grow back second by second, minute by minute, and hour by hour. He was blinded, but you know what God said? He said, you don't need eyesight for vision. You don't need eyesight for vision. In this next season, uh, Nate Martin is saying, you're not going to need what you think you need in this season. God doesn't need your eyeballs to bring the vision to pass. God says, I want you to know, even though you're bald, even though you're blinded, even though you're in prison, Say like Samson, oh Lord God, remember me and strengthen me. You don't think you have the nerve to say it. You don't think that you should say it. You should open up your mouth right now and say, oh Lord God, remember me. 
Rise in the fullness thereof Every man, woman, and child You take control with the roar of your voice You are the king of the wild Can I say it again? The earth is yours And the fullness thereof Every man, woman, and child Oh, you take control with the roar of your voice you are the king of the wild everybody say you are you are the king of the wild you are the king you are the king of the wild you are the king you are the king of the wild you are the king you are the king of the wild you are my joy you are my joy in the wild you are my joy your joy tonight. You are my joy. You are my joy in the world. See, you are my joy. Say he's able, able, and magnificent. 
magnificent, magnificent. Say he's holy, holy. Magnificent. magnificent Say he's holy Magnificent, magnificent, Jesus, magnificent, magnificent, 